Hi everyone, this is Frank from YOLO Live. Today I'm going to show you how to produce these news graphics layouts. If you're an independent creator or studio focused on news commentary and looking into live streaming, this video might be really helpful for you. I will give a detailed introduction to both landscape and portrait news live streaming. If you're only interested in portrait news live streaming, you can just watch the section on portrait live streaming. Before we begin, I would like to clarify that the method for inserting lower thirds introduced in this section does not apply to portrait live streaming. You can directly skip to the portrait live streaming section to learn the appropriate way to use lower thirds for portrait format. Now let's talk about lower thirds. This includes the title bar at the bottom, subtitles introducing guests, scrolling text for sponsors, and brand logos. You can find many pre-made lower thirds on motion graphics websites, or you can create your own. I've already prepared these lower thirds for you, and you need to export them in alpha channel format to ensure the background is transparent. After that, you'll import them into OBS. Make sure your OBS has the NDI source plugin installed, because we need to use NDI to bring these lower thirds from OBS into Yolobox. If you don't have the plugin installed, I've included the download link in the video description so you can click on it to download. Next, we need to adjust some settings in OBS. Go to Settings, then Advanced Settings, and adjust all the parameters to match mine. Then, back on the main OBS page, click on Tools at the top, select NDI Output Settings, check these options, and click OK. When we open NDI source in YOLO box, we should be able to see the NDI signal from OBS. This way, we've successfully added these lower thirds as an NDI source. Now we need to add this NDI source as a video overlay. Open the overlay menu, click on video overlay, select the NDI source, and adjust the relevant parameters. This allows you to use the NDI source as a graphic. Not only can you control the entry and exit sequence of all lower thirds directly in OBS, but you can also add dynamic lower thirds with a transparent background. Now, my YOLO box is connected to three HDMI sources and one local video source. Here, I will provide three basic news layout options, and you can adjust them based on your personal style. First, we have the single person layout. This layout is often used when only one person is speaking. For a single video source layout, you only need to control the entry and exit sequence of the lower thirds in real time. Next is the most common news layout. When the host is speaking, you may also want to show related B-roll footage. YOLO Box offers this type of news layout option. You can directly apply this layout in multi-views simply by inserting the background and adjusting the video source borders. Finally, I can customize the layout. However, it's important to note that the customized feature does not support adding borders, so I will need to prepare a border separately. Next, in the multi-views menu, select Customized. First, add the white border image and adjust it to the desired size. 
you can use the position option below to fine tune its size and position. Then add the video sources. I suggest you try to set the aspect ratio of the two video sources to 916, 16.943, or 1.1 when determining their width and height. If you use custom width and height, it will often take more time during cropping to match the video source with the border. Done. The final step is to add the background. Now you've completed a customized news layout. If your camera supports 4K input, you can set the program live stream quality to 4K. You can adjust the transition effects between each video source in settings, or you can add some transition animations through NDI source. The process is the same as adding lower thirds as a video overlay. Please note that Yolo Box does not have a DVE processor, so it cannot achieve moving or zooming animation effects for a single video source in a picture-in-picture -picture layout. Vertical streaming for news broadcasts is a new attempt. Yolo Box Ultra not only supports landscape streaming, but also vertical streaming. Now let's exit the live streaming page and go to the vertical streaming page. If you need static lower thirds, you can create them on another platform, export them as PNG files with a transparent background, and then add the graphic to YOLO box using image overlays. If you need scrolling text, you can find preset options in the lower thirds section under the overlay menu. If you need dynamic lower thirds like those that fade in and out, you can create them on our desktop software platform, YOLOcast. For example, I am now going to create these two dynamic lower thirds. I won't go into the detailed creation process, but if this is your first time hearing about YOLOcast and this feature, you can check out the video on customized scoreboard. Here I need to change the aspect ratio to vertical. Keep in mind that this feature only supports basic animations. You cannot achieve highly complex animation effects with it. Now, in YOLObox, open the Overlays menu, then choose from YOLOcast, and you'll see the lower thirds you created in YOLOcast. You can adjust their position and size in YOLObox.
Next, click Add Video Source at the bottom left. Scroll down, and here you can use various layouts. If you want to achieve this effect, you can use the Picture-in-Picture -picture layout. If you want to achieve this effect, you can use the Two Views or Three Views layout. Of course, if you want to add a background, you can use the second version of the Two Views or Three Views layout. If your program includes interviews and you also need to display other video sources, you can use the third version of the Three Views layout. You can add borders to the video source or even use your own custom borders. Once everything is ready, if you are streaming in landscape mode, you can start streaming with one click on Yolobox. If you're doing vertical streaming, you can log in directly to your account and start streaming on Yolobox or bind your account via RTMP and start streaming with one click. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more insightful content. Also, don't forget to join our Facebook user group where lots of our customers share their user cases. Last but certainly not least, if you have any questions or would like to know more about YOLO Live, you can contact us via email at contactyyololive.com if your need is urgent, you can call us at plus 86 133 If you need to express your needs through pictures or videos, you can also contact us via WhatsApp. The number is still plus 86 133 Thank you for watching this video.